and that's the uh, end of the Cheap Cheap Star Tournament. And it's also saving. That was a 12 under par victory. That wasn't a bad round for such a weak character. Uh, as I said, I'm not doing as good as I used to, but hey, this is just for fun, and I'll, I'll still blow away the competition with no problem whatsoever. Come on, Luigi, do your dance. That's not much of a dance, Luigi. <laughs> That's more of a fist pump. Um, hold on just a second, please. Back with more golf action! And now the courses are going to be getting a little bit harder, so, uh, for the heck of it, uh, I use a slightly weaker character than Luigi over here, known as Princess Peach. <laughs> Yes, that is right. I might as well keep the characters varied, so I might as well use a girl character to achieve a fairly good score. And we are now going to the desert course. Whoa, the Sand Star Classic. And as you can see, there's a bunch of ruins uh, piled all over the place on the course, which will get in your way on, on different holes. Even on this hole, it, it starts to get in the way. Um, but with Peach's nice straight stroke, we should have no trouble getting through the course. And that was a pink uh, stripe through the air in case you didn't notice. That is not manly at all, but I will accept it nonetheless. Because Peach is a pretty good character to play as, actually. Because of how straight she shoots. Oh, uh, it's a little too far, though, on my shot there. But that was my fault, and not Peach's fault. Um, come on, baby. Let's do this. Put it right in the hole. That's what she said. And... Wait, wait, wait. It's too much. Oh, shoot. But at least I hit the hole. I, that came pretty dang close to going in. What the heck was that? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's just go on to the next hole and hope the birdie animation is a lot more uh, girly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right across the fairway, right across to the fairway. As you can see, this this uh, particular hole here has like different islands of fairway that are stretched across a whole load of sand. Yeah, so you have to aim towards one of these if you can. Uh, oh, I forgot to check the impact area, that red line. But it was slightly so. I mean, it was slightly mishit. But Peaches pretty good with her uh, accuracy if you miss hit, so it was an okay shot. Uh, I'm going to try to make this ball drop in very high, very high and very soft, just like this. Let's see how things go. Oh, wait, that's coming in lower than I expected. It's going to roll past the hole. No! Well, I guess that's a decent shot. It's straight downhill, or I should say nearly straight downhill. Not as straight as I thought it would be, but I think a little adjustment will be all I'll need. 2.2 feet downhill, wow. Yeah! Let's see. Okay, that wasn't much ex excitement, I gotta say. I guess she's trying to be very prim and proper for her royalness. You know, to make herself look good. But we all know that she's a tramp. We've seen it in my other walkthroughs. <clears throat> but, uh, so, yeah. This hole. Very tricky hole here. Play it off towards the right side of the fairway. Do not... I mean, play it off towards the left side of the fairway. Excuse me. If you play it towards the right side, you'll have this mountain to deal with here. Um, and it'll be very much in your way of the hole. Which is a lot of trouble. You don't, don't want trouble when you're playing golf. You want to have nice, simple shots that you can easily get on the green, no matter where you are from. So, yeah, golf is about planning. That was awesome. <laughs> golf is about planning ahead and also knowing the holes ahead of time. Um, if you want to, if you're like, if you don't know the holes like I do, and you just want to check out these holes ahead of time, you can just do this: press the pause button, the start button, and huh? Wait a second. Um, let me, how do I check the whole course? I forgot, ah, there we go, it's the, excuse me, it's the Y button. I was thinking of the Mario Golf for the uh, original Nintendo 64, and this gives you like an overhead view of a hole. Like, this is a par 3, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's, this hole is set up on top of these ruins here, so those ruins get in the way. Uh, I'm gonna make it curve, uh, 
top to bottom, or I should say a high shot, and make a curve from left to right so the ruins won't get in my way. Let's see here. I want to make it, like, as high as possible, so a forward should be a wise choice if I get the ball there. I think that's going to be just fine. I hope it doesn't go in the bunker. Oh my god, it's overkill! Overkill, no! Way too much. It just caught the rock, so I should be able to putt this. Uh, I think that's good. I think the pin, even though it's going to be a pretty fast shot, yep, just as I thought. When the pin is in, uh, you can hit the ball harder than usual, and the pin will usually keep the ball uh, in the hole if you hit it centered. Um, the only time the game takes the pin out is when you're on the green. Otherwise, the pin stays in when you're on the fringe, the green edge, because the green edge is the fringe, by the way. Uh, in golf terms, green edge is fringe. I don't know why they call it the green edge in this game, whatever. Um, <laughs> the <clears throat> so, the, you can use the pin to your advantage, but sometimes the pin actually does hurt you in places. If you hit the pin on the fly or something, it can really make the ball bounce into a place you don't want it to go to. But hey, that's golf. It's not always fair. Uh, that's why you got to play things as carefully and as safely as possible as you go. Come on, Princess Pussy. Ah! Ah! I actually wasn't expecting to make that putt. That was just an overreaction on my part. But hey, when don't I overreact? That's just what I do on my channel. <laughs> and... A little curtsy. <laughs> I guess that's what she's doing. It's like a curtsy, but she's not really pulling out her skirt or anything. I guess I would make her look kind of slutty, or at least more slutty than she already is. Ah! That is not very professional royal behavior, Peach. Ah! <laughs> but enough about Peach. Let's talk about Peach some more. So as you can see, when <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding around though. And I think that should be a pretty good shot there. It should get us pretty close. Uh, in case you didn't see that shot there, um, that was... How do I get really close to the... How do I zoom in? I thought I could zoom in on this, but I guess not. Well, whatever. Um, the, where I had to hit that uh, pin was a pretty tight location, so I had to make it go pretty high in the air for it to stop quickly and use backspin. Um, let's see. Uphill 0.4 feet. That's not much, but it affects, uh, affects it a little bit. That reminds me, um, when you putt uphill... Um, when you putt uphill, the, the break on putts is slightly worse than if you were to be putting downhill. Or I should say it differs depending on how much it's uphill or downhill. So always make sure to pay attention to that elevation gauge at the top of the screen on putts. Uh, you, I should say the elevation gauge isn't at the top of the screen, it's at the top of the pin. Uh, when you aim yourself towards the pin, you see that little, uh, see that at the top thing with the flag, and then it says pin 284, and then there's an arrow that says zero yards. Um, that, that zero yards uh, indicates how high the pin is, or how low the pin is, away from your current ball's location. Um, so, if it's lower, then you have to use less power, and the ball will come in at a higher angle. If it's higher, you'll be having to use more power, and the ball will come in at a lower angle, and it's harder to control. Uh, so that's something to consider sometimes uh, in your shots, but you don't have to look at it all, all the time. Just on those really precise shots if you need to. Oh! That was a little bit too long, and I almost went in that bunker because of it, but it worked out. I think I'll be able to make this putt. Yeah! Upskirt shot for Peach! Oh, no, no. <laughs> Again, I'm joking around with Peach. I should not be doing that. I mean, golf is a gentleman's sport, right? Well, this is Mario Golf. We taunt each other between holes and during holes and during shots. So, yeah. Oh, no, not down there. I did not want to hit down there. It's too much power. There's a bunker down there. Uh, I think it's going to be... No, it's probably not going to be okay. Um, when you're in a bunker, it makes the ball go a lot less far, and the ball also goes at a lot less low, I mean, a lot high, a lot lower trajectory. Come on, Peach! Come on, Peach! Get those hips into it! Oh, I, I actually made it on the green, I can't believe it. I guess Peach really put her hips into the shot. 
and the top spin probably helped a lot too. Um, um, uphill, 0.2 feet, that's going to affect it ever so slightly. And I'm going to hope for that best. Yeah! Perfect. Well, actually, it wasn't that perfect, but it works out. Uh, perfect would be like just the right amount of power, but hey, you can't complain when the ball goes in the hole. That's as perfect as you can get, right? And this is a pretty interesting hole right here. You have to play it off towards the left side, otherwise the pyramid towards the right will get in your way. Uh, sometimes the pyramid doesn't get in your way depending on the elevation. Oh shoot! No! What have I done? I got too close to this mound over here. That's another interesting thing about this hole is the elevation between mounds. Like, look how high this, this uh, uh, mound is between this grassy area and this grassy area. Yeah, that can get in your way on some shots, so that can be quite some problems. But in this case, I guess it's not that much of a problem if I curve the ball from left to right. 